even though we wanted to see a lot more of the Utah Canyon country, we were close enough that we wanted to first of all head 75 miles south into Arizona to catch the north rim of the Grand Canyon. But our trip to Arizona began just four miles north of the state line in Kanab, Utah, which is a very unusual town. It's kind of the gateway to the canyon country. I love that the welcome sign says, Greatest Earth on Show, and it's definitely not an exaggeration. The theme, Greatest Earth on Show, is also a takeoff on Greatest Show on Earth because Kanab is also known as Little Hollywood because of all the motion pictures and TV shows that were made in this area. There are two things you must see in Kanab, and the first one is Perry Lodge, which is actually designated as a National Historic Site. We are in Perry Lodge in Kanab, Utah. The place where all the celebrities stayed and they made hundreds of movies here. All these people have stayed in this hotel. In fact, the person who built it made, turned an old farmhouse into the hotel, got a hold of the people in Hollywood and said, why don't you come out here and make your movies? It's perfect for westerns. And they came and they stayed here. This is the dining room that, of course, isn't in use right now. But there's pictures all over here, too. In fact, the girl we were talking to said that John Wayne and somebody else actually built the swimming pool. I suppose being out in the desert heat, they wanted a nice place to rest. Cool. Incredible. There are several types of rooms at Perry Lodge, and some or maybe all of them are named for famous people that have stayed there over the last 150 years. The second thing that you must see in Kanab is the Little Hollywood Museum. It's full of old TV sets and, and movie sets out in the back. It's free and uh, you can see lots of the types of things that were built for the different movies and TV shows that were filmed in the area. You may not be able to tell what that sign says but it says cowboy art and Flat Eric found a good place to sleep. I got a chance to take Flat out to show him the sets and uh, we had fun going around seeing all of the different displays from the livery stable into the bank and all of that. And Flat even got a chance to sit on a little saddle. Uh, and uh, we just enjoyed our time there. After you're done looking at the little western village, you can go back into the gift shop and buy some really nice jewelry or some really silly souvenirs. We let Flat pose with a few more friends before we left town and headed out toward Grand Canyon. We noticed this church with a cross on the steeple. In Utah, we didn't see many of those because Mormon churches do not have a cross on the steeple. This is just a random video taken from the car of the area around Kanab, Utah, where a lot of the Western movies were shot. Over 350, I think they said. I mean, just behind somebody's house, you have this huge thing. Only four miles outside Kanab, we headed into Arizona and down 75 more miles, traveling on toward the Grand Canyon. We were driving down the road and started seeing burned area to our left. 
Evidently, they stopped the fire at the road because it's not burned on the west side of the road. We're into northern Arizona, heading toward Fredonia on Alt 89. Okay, here's what we're supposed to be seeing. The grand staircase is seen from Lefebvre Overlook, which is where we are. Here's what we're actually seeing. Still very smoky. As we drove down toward the canyon, we saw vast open areas like plains and we did manage to see a couple of buffalo. Now the next few pictures you see will be these side canyons that you see um, at the end of the trail in the middle you see Bright Angel Point and what we saw uh, from Bright Angel Point and on the trail were this, these smaller side canyons and then when you got out to the end you could see across to the larger south rim of the Grand Canyon. Can't get this one in one picture. We're almost at the end of the Bright Angel Trail in Grand Canyon. This is kind of like one point. Okay, this is the way it's supposed to look. This is from a sign, and this is what it really looked like. But it, so the view wasn't too bad. This is another view of one of the side can, canyons from Bright Angel Point. Beautiful, beautiful views. We're looking out across the canyon here to another viewing point near the lodge. We took that hike later, and this is the end of that point. You can see a, a beautiful view across the whole canyon. While we were on that hike, we met Tom and Nancy Gaetano, who are fifth wheelers, full timers from Texas. And while we were talking to them, we, we realized that their son, lives just over the hill from us in Gray on Free Hill Road. Truly a very small world. As it began to get darker, we spent the evening taking pictures across Grand Canyon and are really appreciating the wonder and majesty of God's creation. We had made reservations at a campground just a few miles north of the park and went back there to spend a very cold night, but definitely worth the effort to have been privileged to see this amazing work of God's creation.